Hey guys, Zach aka Star Wars Uncovered here with a different video today. One of two videos that we are getting today on the Keller and Beck, the Jedi we saw in the newest Mandalorian episode who saved Grogu during the Jedi Purge, Order 66 at the Jedi Temple. But we're not going to really focus on Keller and Beck, we're going to focus on Ahmed Best, the actor, the person. I'm so glad they included him in the Mandalorian, it was really great. He he did so well in that in the Order sixty six scene, it was amazing. And I'll do a whole nother video breaking that scene down today. It was just amazing, and I loved how he's back in the franchise again. Especially the after the shit he got during this uh prequel trilogy, he was getting a bunch of hate for playing Jar Jar, and obviously people didn't like Jar Jar at the time. They thought he was childish unfunny, there was no reason for him to be in the prequels, it kind of just took away from the story, and he, Ahmed Best felt like that was on him, all the hate that Jar Jar was garnering was on him, and he took it personally, and he actually almost took his life, committed suicide because of all the hate he was getting for playing Jar Jar, and it's really sad, but he, I'm glad to see he's overcome it, and he is listening to the fans, and he wants them to see what he has in store for Star Wars again, and it's great that he played Jar Jar, and now he's playing a Jedi too, it's just awesome, he had some badass scenes, and I'll go over those in the next video, but I, I, I'm just so happy for Ahmed Best, it's like a success story, you know, Jake Lloyd, he got a lot of shit for playing Anakin, and he never recovered from it actually, he, he just stopped acting altogether, but Ahmed Best, is uh, opposite of that, he's used this negativity, gotten over it, and healed from that, and now he's successful, he's still in the Star Wars franchise, and I applaud him for that, he's getting over the negativity of the sequels when he was playing Jar Jar, and he's focusing on the future, what's in store for him, what he can do, his plans, and I think that Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, casting him in The Mandalorian is a great callback to OG fans who remember him from Jar Jar. I had good memories of Jar Jar. I wasn't uh, type, the type of person who hated on Jar Jar. I loved Jar, Jar Jar from day one. Can he be a little bit overwhelming? Yes. At times, yes, he can. But I think Ahmed Best did not deserve the hate. Maybe how Jar Jar's character was written deserved the hate. Because Jar Jar was meant to be funny. He was a merchandise selling point for George Lucas. That was the sequels. It was... Jar Jar was put in to attract kids to Star Wars. That's not a surprise for anyone. And it wasn't really meant to make the fans angry. It was just a selling point for kids. They would be like, oh, look at this goofy, funny-looking dude. I want to watch that movie and get the toys. That's what it was meant to be, and it negatively impacted Ahmed Best for unfortunate reasons. And I'm glad to see that fans are happy to see him back. I... You know, I think the Mandalorian as a series brings back, brings the fans back together. I, everyone likes the Mandalorian. Everyone's happy about it, and it brings OG characters back in different roles. And I'm as best as um, Coran Beck is no exception. So that's pretty much all I got to say today. Please like and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you get noti notified about all my videos. And may the force be with you.